is Grant Napier, and uh, this is on geometric sequences and series. It's an Algebra 2 lesson. Let's begin. Okay, so find the, the next term in each sequence. A sequence has commas between them. A series will have pluses between them. So these are all sequences, you guys, okay? Okay, can you see this one? This one's going up by plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, okay? This one's going up by, it's not going up by plus. It's going up by times 2, times 2, times 2. This one's a little different. We'll get to that in just a second, you guys. Okay, so plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. And then finally, 2 times 2 is going to get me 4. Okay, now this third one, you guys, check this out. This one happens a lot. If it's not going up by a plus or a minus, then try this, you guys. They're going up by consecutive odds. Plus 3, plus 5, 11 plus 7, 18 plus 9. So if I go up plus 11, 27 plus 11 will get me to 38. All right, section B, this is number one. In a geometric sequence, and I'm just going to do GS for geometric sequence, uh, each term is multiplied by a common ratio. So, and then to get your R, your, I just take two numbers and take the right number and divide it by the left number. That's how I get R. Then your nth term of a geometric uh, series, sequence is uh, this formula right here. All right, so that one, um, uh, you're going to have to, if you're in my class, have to memorize that. There's five formulas. This is one of them. Okay, so a sub n equals my a sub 1, which is my first term, times r to the n minus 1 power. Okay, so uh, the sum of the first n terms in a geometric series is this formula. Uh, the sum of the first whatever, say, n terms is your first term times the quantity, the fraction, 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. All right, we have some of those coming up. Okay. Okay, so write a rule for the nth term of the sequence and then find uh, a sub 6. Okay, this one's going up by uh, times 4 times 4 times 4, so r equals 4. Okay, and then there's my formula for geometrics. So i got to find my first term is, is that 3. R is, uh, r is 4, so it's going to be 3 times 4 to the n. Now, don't multiply 3 times 4, you guys. It's not 12 times to the n minus 1. It's 3 times uh, the quantity 4 to the n minus 1. That's your answer. You can't do anything else with that. Okay, and then when you find your sixth term, you just plug in 6. So instead of uh, n minus 1, it's 6 minus 1. Whoop, there should be an equal sign right here where my cursor is. So 3 times and then 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 to the fifth is 1,024. So 3 times that is 3,072. Okay, all right, this one. Um, okay, this one's a little harder to see. It's it's going times something times something. It's They told me it was geometric, so... Just pick any two numbers, you guys, and, and always do your right number divided by your left number. I'm not going to choose these ones, although that would be easy. I'm going to choose these two right here. And then 4 divided by negative 12 would be R, righty divided by lefty. All right, so it's negative 1 third. So remember, it's going to be my first term. My first term is that 36, and then times uh, negative 1 third, because negative 4 over 12, or 12 over negative 4 is negative 4 over 12, to the n minus 1 power. Okay, so um, a sub 6, I'm just going to plug in 5, okay? And then i got to do negative 1 to the 5th and then 3 to the 5th, all right? And I get uh, negative 1, 3 to the 5th is 243, and then 9 goes into both of those. 9 goes into 36 4 times, into 243 is 27 times, so the answer is negative 427. So two parts. This is one answer right here, and this is one answer right here. Okay, let's do one more of these. Okay, this one, uh, it's going down by 8, minus 8, minus 8, minus 8, so D equals negative 8. This one's an arithmetic sequence, so we have to use this formula from arithmetics. A sub n equals A sub 1 times the quantity n minus 1 times D. Here's A sub 1, here's D. Okay, so we plug them in, and we get that formula, 68 minus 8n. Now we're going to find my sixth term, so plug in 6 right here. 8 times 6 is 48, so I get 20 for my sixth term. All right, so here's one, uh, section D. One term of a geometric sequence, your, A's, your fifth term is 54 with R equal to 3. Write a rule for the nth term. Okay, remember, there's my formula. I know what R is. I don't know what A sub 1 is. I have to get it. So what I'm going to do is plug in A sub 5 right here and plug in 5 for N. All right, so A sub 5 is going to be a times r to the 5 minus 1. Well, a sub 5 is 54. And then r is 3, and then 5 minus 1 is 4, so 3 to the 4th. Okay, 3 to the 4th comes out to be 81. Divide both sides by 81, and that reduces to 2 thirds. So uh, there's my first term. Now I know what r is, and so there's my formula right there. Your first term times r to the n minus 1 power. 
Okay, and that's your answer. You can't do anything with that. You can't because this has a different exponent than this two-thirds right here. So don't think you can cancel these right here because this has an exponent with it. All right, that's your answer back there. Okay, two terms of a geometric sequence. Whoops, there should be that. That should be next over here. Are that your third term is 45 and your fifth term is 405. Find a rule for the nth term. Okay, I need my first term, you guys. So if I did, uh, if I listed them, a sub 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here's my first five terms, and there's my third term, and there's my fifth term. That's what they gave me right here. Okay, going from here to here, if I go over, remember it goes times r times r. So times r times r is r squared. And then remember, you always do right number divided by left number. r squared equals 9. So that tells me that r must be 3. So if it's going times 3, going to the right, then going to the left, it's going to be divided by 3, divided by r, divided by r. So 45 divided by 3 is 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now there's a sub 1. It's 5. Okay, now I know what r is. r is 3. So I plug them in and I get 5 times uh, 3 to the n minus 1. There's your answer. Again, I cannot multiply 5 times 3 because 3 has an exponent that's not the same as this. So that is your answer. You can't do anything with it because of the exponent n minus 1. Okay, find the sum of the geometric... Um, uh, actually, this should be geometric series, you guys. That should be series, not sequence. Find the sum of the geometric series. I'm going to put that in right now, of the geometric series. Okay, let's do, let me spread that uh, out. Okay, so we're going to find the sum of the geometric series. Okay, the next slide will have the GS again, but it should be geometric series. Okay, remember, um, uh, there's my formula right there. I need my first term. I need to know what R is. R is, they told me it's geometric. That's R right there, negative 2. Okay, so I need to figure out my first term. And N, in this case, N is 8. It's always that top number right there. All right, so here we go. Okay, so a sub 1, I just plug in 1 right here. 1 minus 1 is 0, so negative 2 to the 0. Anything to the 0 equals 1. So the first term, a sub 1, is equal to 6. Okay, r is that negative 2 right there, and n is 8. So I have everything to plug it in right there. Okay, so s sub 8 is going to be the first term. 1 minus r. Remember, r is negative 2. And then negative 2 to the 8th is a positive 256, but this minus right here is this minus right here. Okay, don't say a minus and a minus is a plus. This minus right here is taken care of in that 8. So it's 1 minus 256. Here, this is minus a minus, so this becomes a plus right there. All right, and then so simplify that. You get a negative 255 uh, over 3, and that reduces, and then multiply that times 6, and you should get negative 510. Okay, one more. Okay, uh, got to get r. R, um, so r is 3 halves, n is 6, and my first term, when I plug in uh, 1 right here, 1 minus 1 is 0, so four to the, uh, 3 halves to the 0 is 1. So here we go. Uh, sorry, I got to, I'm just running out of room on my slides. I can only do about 60 or so slides, and I've I got to stop. Okay, so can you believe it? We've gone through 60 slides. Fascinating. <laughs> Okay, so here, so I plugged in uh, uh, a sub 1, 1 minus r to the nth, and n is 6, over 1 minus r. Okay, 3 to the 6 is 727. 2 to the 6 is 64. So I changed this 1 to 64 over 64. Okay, similarly, I changed this 1, since the denominator was 2, I made it 2 over 2. See, that's my 1 right there, and this is my 1 on top. I just made sure they had common denominators. Now I can subtract 64 minus 727 is negative 665, all right, over 64. And then I get a negative 1 half on the bottom. 2 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is negative 1 over 2. All right, now the negatives cancel, so I'm going down here. And what I did was I inverted this denominator because it's, it's divided by, so I inverted the denominator and made it, to, instead of 1 over 2, I made it uh, 2 over 1. Remember, then the negatives cancel, this negative and this negative cancel. So here's this 4 right there, 4 over 1. Here's the 65, 665 over 64, and then we invert the 1 half and make it 2 over 1. And then uh, the 4 and the 2 will cancel that 64 to make it 8. So the final answer is uh, 665 over 8.